Starting tomorrow, anyone facing a mental health crisis will have a new way to access help anytime, 24 hours a day. It's so simple. All you have to do is dial three numbers. 11 Lives Molly Oak is joining us. Molly, important timing here. We've been talking so much about the growing mental health crisis. Tell us more about how the surface is going to work in Georgia. Well, 988 texts, calls and chats will go straight to the Georgia Act's crisis and access line, which is still working remotely. But I spoke with one woman who's called that line before, and she says it's life saving. When a life is on the line, who do you call? When you call 911, all of these people come and that can be dangerous as the mother of, of African American males, right? Like and, and females, it can be a dangerous situation. That's why Linda Henderson Smith is excited about the launch of 988, a national emergency line like 911, but for mental health calls. So people will know that it's okay to not be okay and that they can call and get help and get referred uh, to a crisis center or, or a resource or talk to someone on the phone that can help uh, de-escalate their situation. Abdul Henderson is the executive director of Mental Health America of Georgia, who says Georgia ranks 48th in the country when it comes to access to mental health services. Not to mention, he says our state has four counties, including Dawson, that rank among the worst in the nation for suicidal ideation and severe depression. There is a need absolutely for the state of Georgia. I know Dawson County has led in death by suicide over the last 10 years. Henderson says they expect the new line to get about 500,000 calls a year in the state. Calls like the one Linda made for her son. It's actually, you know, life or death. She had to call the Georgia Crisis and Access line years ago, a number she says most would have to Google to find when every minute matters. But now, an easy to remember number will make a big difference. I feel like 988 is both a response system, but also a prevention system. A system? What it meant for me was that my son is still alive. That can save a life. While those in the mental health field say this line is a huge step forward, there are some concerns, like will there be enough funding or enough staffing to handle that expected call volume? We'll keep you updated as we learn more and as this line launches tomorrow.